I remember watching Thomas and Friends when I was younger. I hardly even watch it anymore, as I feel like the All Engines Go reboot ruined the franchise for me. The model series is the most nostalgic. The CGI series isn't all bad, but I feel like Mattel really botched Big World Big Adventures, as the movie was an absolute fail. But I feel like I'm getting off topic here. I was bored, so I went on the official Thomas and Friends website on October 9th. When I went to check out the games, there was only one called, Save Thomas's Legacy. I know All Engines Go wasn't the best, but if Mattel made this, this is just self-deprecation. The title screen seemed well made enough, but when I clicked the play button, the audio was a garbled mess of the model series and CGI theme songs. The game starts with a cutscene of A.E.G. Thomas just standing there, with a blank expression on his face as he looks at pictures of his predecessor. When he looks back, he hears the original Thomas's distorted whistle booming in the distance, and his expression gradually turns to one of fear as the whistle blows and the original Thomas approaches. The first level is collecting the Railway Series books while avoiding the A.G. Thomas clones that rain down as well. The original Thomas is pulling a truck, and his movement is controlled by moving the cursor left and right. If you collect enough books, you move on to the next level. If you fail or collect too many A.G. Thomas clones, you are met with a game over screen of the model series Thomas glaring at you. The second level has you play as A.G. Thomas. A.G. Thomas is moved with the left and right arrow keys as he tries to make his way through a tunnel, with the original Thomas creeping up behind him. To make him disappear, you need to turn A.G. Thomas around with the space key so he's looking at the original Thomas. If you get out of the tunnel, you move on to the third and final level, where you have to battle the original Thomas, but not before you're met with a heavily edited image of Thomas in the model series with a blue tint and text saying, Why did you replace me? After the image disappears, the scene changes to the original Thomas, who is introduced as Requiem waiting in the exact same tunnel that A.G. Thomas had to pass through, with his eyes obscured by the shadows of the dark tunnel. For a split second when the cutscene begins, his form changes as he cycles from the Railway series Thomas all the way to CGI Thomas. He then begins to speak in an echoing voice. What he says is as follows. I haven't forgotten what Mattel has done to me. They threw me off the rails and disgraced Audrey's legacy. Ever since they replaced me, my franchise has been going downhill. This isn't what Audrey would have wanted. After Requiem speaks, he charges forward at A.G. Thomas and initiates the battle. A.G. Thomas automatically runs away from Requiem, but you have to switch tracks with up and down to dodge his attacks and grab the dynamite. Yep, A.G. Thomas, with fucking explosives. Wasn't unusual in Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure because the pack had to play hot potato with dynamite and Sailor John threw dynamite at Thomas. The dynamite can be thrown at Requiem with the space bar. When I looked at him before the battle, I noticed that Requiem looked exactly like Thomas in shape, but he had a dark navy blue livery and he had the number 70 painted on the sides of his bunker. Requiem's livery was fairly similar to Thomas's livery in The Adventure Begins, and the 70 symbolized the series' 70th anniversary. Requiem also has attacks you need to dodge. If he releases steam, it covers the entire track he's on and you need to change tracks. If he starts chuffing backwards, he's readying a charge attack and you need to switch tracks. This attack can be stopped by throwing dynamite at him. If he whistles, troublesome trucks will randomly appear across the tracks, rolling around to ram A.G. Thomas. One would think throwing dynamite would stop this attack, but it does nothing, even if it gets one of the trucks. If you throw enough sticks of dynamite at Requiem, you win the battle. A cutscene shows Requiem, damaged from the dynamite A.G. Thomas threw at him. Requiem looks down at his successor and text appears reading, It's not your fault Mattel disgraced the legacy Audrey made. Requiem then shuffs backwards, switches tracks and speeds away. 
The ending cutscene shows Art of Requiem and A.E.G. Thomas chuffing along the tracks and looking at each other with Requiem no longer having a perpetual glare, and what I can describe as him seeming content. After I reloaded the browser, the game page was back to normal, but it leaves me wondering one thing. Who were the people behind this game? Whoever hacked the site probably added the game as a one-time thing because the game never came back, even if I went to the site on October 9th. This game hasn't been documented on any local news at all. Apparently, it wasn't very noteworthy. Not that I blame them either, because this only ever happened once, and other players when they finished it, they just went back to what they were doing afterwards.